Here we're going to look at the physical properties of group two elements. And there are three physical properties that we're going to take a look at. First of these physical properties is atomic radius. And what we need to do is we need to state and explain the trend in these properties as you go down group two. So the first one we we'll look at is atomic radius. And atomic radius, well, that increases as you go down group two. And it increase, atomic radius will increase as you go down any group. Why is that? Well, each successive element gains an extra shell of electrons. And let's just have a look. So beryllium, for example, I'm going to use GCC notation here, It'll be 2, 2. Magnesium, 282, calcium, 2882. And you can see that as you go down the group, each atom is gaining an extra shell of electrons. The second trend we're going to have a look at is first ionisation energies. And we need to be aware what the definition of first ionisation energy is. I'm hoping we can remember. Um, first ionisation energy is the energy required to remove a mole of electrons from a mole of gaseous atoms. And I'm hoping you can remember that that will decrease down the group. Why is that the case? We need to now explain that trend. Well, the electron removed is from a higher, or successively higher, principal energy level. You should be, in, in your answer, you'd be writing down principal energy level. I've shorthanded that to PEL. So, for example, if we look at, say, beryllium, beryllium there is 1s2, 2s2, magnesium, 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, calcium. So we can see there that the electron is removed from a successively higher principal energy level. Principal energy level being, of course, the number here. OK. Also, um, it's more shielded from the nucleus and the electron removed is also further from the nucleus. But, I mean, the answer there I've given will be sufficient. But also, also is the distance from the nucleus and shielding will also increase as you go down group two. The next physical property we're going to have a look at is melting point. Now, what determines the melting point of any substance is its structure. And remember, there are four different types of structures. Giant ionic, giant metallic, macromolecular, and simple molecular. And all these elements being in group two are all metals. And they all exist as giant metallic structures. And as such, the bonding will be metallic. And can we remember what metallic bonding is? It's the electrostatic force of attraction. Be 
between. I'll just move on to the next page. The electrostatic force of attraction between the positive metal ions and the C of delocalized electrons. Now, how does metallic bonding then change down the group? Or how does the strength of metallic bonding, should say, change down the group? Well, the metallic bonding gets weaker. And we'll explain why in a sec. So if that's the case, what we're going to say then is that the melting point, to so state in the trend now, melting point decreases down the group. So we state the trend. Why is that? And what affects the strength of metallic bonding? It's the number of delocalized electrons per atom and the size of the positive metal ion. Well, first thing to note is that the number of delocalized electrons is going to be constant. But as you go down the group, the size of the positive metal ion increases. So the size of the positive metal ion increases, therefore, a weaker attraction Between the positive metal ion, that's the nucleus of the positive metal ion, and C of delocalized electrons. So let's just have a, a brief look at that. So if you think of something like beryllium ions and the electron, well, again, the distance there between the nucleus and the electron is quite small, so the attraction is strong. If you think, have a look at, say, magnesium, I'm going to do a big magnesium ion. And the delocalized electron there, we can see that the distance between, the distance between the nucleus and the electron, the delocalized electron is much bigger, therefore that you've got a weaker attraction. Weaker attraction means bonds easier to break, and therefore lower melting point. So there are the three trends in physical properties. Uh, we state the trend, in each case then we've explained the trend.